I want to show you how to share a post using Buffer. Now the easiest way is to use a browser extension like this one right here. The way you do that is you go to bufferapp.com forward slash extensions. Now it senses what browser you're using and in this case I'm using Chrome. If you had Firefox open when you went to this URL you would see something that said install the Firefox extension. So you click the button, you install it, and it appears right here in your browser. Go back to your post, click the icon, and then these are the um, profiles that Buffer will post to uh, for you on your behalf. You can change the verbiage here. Buffer, just like Hootsuite, uses a URL shortener. It pulls in a picture and you can scroll through the pictures um, to choose which one you want. I like this one better than the other one because it's cut off. So choose that. This is the way the post is going to look. This is how many characters are in the post. And there's a few things you can do here. If you click the little drop down, you can say share next. So what's going to happen is so buffer has a queue and it's basically a line. If you've got five posts that you've already buffered, by default, if you click add to queue, what happens is buffer will be sixth that this post will be sixth in line. But you can choose to say share next, which bumps it ahead in line. You can say share now, which bumps it ahead. Uh, basically, you share right now. It's not even being buffered. Or you can schedule the post. So I'm going to show you how to schedule the post. You can pick any day you choose as long as it's not in the past. Any time you choose as long as it's not in the past. Um, you can choose AM or PM, obviously. And then you click schedule. It's just that easy. So using Buffer is a really handy way to syndicate your blog posts out to places like Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All right, that's it. Easy, right?